That was like so much better. That sounded like we might have been in sync today. Oh, I haven't seen you in like almost 30 hours, so. It's been a long time, right? 30 (laughs) hours since we have been face to face. And yeah, listeners, as you well know, um, we, uh, we were we were out gallivanting in the west so we took a trip hiking a mountain the uh, mountain we hiked i think i can bring it up is this one so this is mount adams in washington the state of washington somebody was like ooh washington dc um nope there's there's not mountains in washington dc <laughs> <So, laughs> Well, close. You can start to get to some if you drive a couple hours. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> this is um, our campground area that we're staying at. So this is our lake. And that is Mount Adams that you see there in the uh, distance. So that was our that was our place. That was our jam. So it, it was, was awesome. It was super cool. Super good times. Great everything. Really, there's like nothing negative to say. I just spent the last... Uh, Two hours recapping. I got home early this morning. Mm -hmm. So haven't really had a chance to see anybody yet. But I spent a lot of time this evening going for a walk with my wife and telling her like as many stories as I could tell her. So it it was a great time. It was a good time. That's awesome. Yeah. And I assume you also had a great time. (laughs) Yes, I did. It was it was amazing. And yeah, just like one of those things you hear people talk about talk about doing things or taking trips that are really that you know kind of put things into focus and they can make some major changes in their lives Mm -hmm. and i think that's one of those for me like just you know getting some perspective and just being away from everything and being unplugged and it was it was with great friends that was that was an uh, awesome part so yeah yeah it was interesting right before we recorded i was talking to my wife and i was like you know One of the things that kept running through my mind the whole trip, and I go, and it really kind of made itself concrete at the end of the trip, um, was that you and I need to do this. Like, not necessarily that trip, but I'm like, I think, like, each year we need to pick, like, three places we haven't gone before that we want to go. Like, uh, maybe I want to go to Dallas. Or maybe I want to go see the Grand Canyon. You know, and... I start looking for tickets, and when I can find tickets on the cheap, we just go. Even if it's only for a long weekend, we just go and do it. And her Mm -hmm. response was, I really like my house. (laughs) (laughs) We'll see. That works out. I think that Gina would have a different opinion. She was was super glad to get me back. Um, Yeah. But I think, yeah, something, I, th- I think it was just great. I think it was great for everything. It, it was. And, you know, so one of the things, listeners, that happened, and this is probably my bad not understanding things, but we were camping rustically. There was no water. There mm-hmm. was no electricity. There was no cell service. We were, like, out in the wilderness. Um, starting Thursday like around noonish all the way until mm-hmm. Sunday around noonish and you know that's that's quite a few days right mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah. that's not normal for either of us and like I didn't know that was going to happen right like I knew we were camping I knew we were camping in the mm-hmm. mountains um I didn't know we weren't going to have electricity didn't know we weren't going to have water for sure didn't know I wasn't going to have cell service, right? Yeah. Because, I had asked Jesse about the cell service. Yeah. And I didn't ask or think about it. And what I realized, and again, this is why traveling is so important for people, is it changes your perspective. So because we live in the Midwest slash East Coast, right? Like... You know, not East Coast, but you know what I mean? Like Mississippi over, east of the Mississippi. How about that, right? Yeah. We're never really out of cell phone range. Yes. Even when July 4th, we were camping, it was rustic, pit toilets and stuff. 
They had water. Mm -hmm. They had electricity. And we had horrible cell service, right? You and I tried to record there. Yeah. But we still recorded. Like, I still had enough service to record. You know what I mean? Yes, exactly. Get you were able to... You, it wasn't great, but we were able to do it. And obviously that means I could get texts and I could get phone calls. Again, not great, but I could. And mm -hmm. so this is the first time I can remember in a long, long, long time where I've been somewhere and been disconnected, right? And not prepared for it. So the way it went down, yeah. listeners, is we were driving and we were hitting different waterfalls on the way and then driving to the mountain. And as we're going, all of a sudden we like lost our music, like on our phones. And we're like, oh, we lost our music. And someone's like, oh, yeah, can we download a playlist? And sure, maybe. And then we're like, wait, none of us have signals. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, that's weird. When will we get a signal again? And they're like, not until Sunday. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> like, I didn't tell anybody I'd be without a signal. I didn't know yeah. I was going to be without a signal. Yeah. And that, that was like a little freaky to me, right? Like, I'm like, I really, really hope I don't open up my phone and get like, you need to call me ASAP or, yeah, you yeah. know, like family members going, something's happened, you know? And I was like, kind of like anxious about that. But it was also mm -hmm. a good experience, right? Like to not be picking up your phone every five minutes. Yeah. Right? It was nice. Shutting yeah, off exactly. the phone and just leaving it in the tent while we were going playing. Yeah. I sent I sent some random messages here and there, but, like, there were just a couple days. I didn't even turn – I mean, I, sh I could have taken more pictures. I almost said I should have, but not, yeah. I was just living – I was in the moment. So I could have taken some more pictures. I think – Everyone was taking pictures, so our picture our picture vault's going to be super yeah. awesome. I got a great picture early on. I was super happy. It was a it was a sunrise. I was able to do a panorama. I mean, like I was amazingly happy with that. Not to mention, you know, some other cool pictures that I had gotten. And yeah, you know, it was a good time. Well, and like I was carrying my phone not as a phone anymore. It became my camera. Mm -hmm. So I was always yeah. trying to make sure I had a camera with me. But if I didn't need a camera. Like I realized, yeah. I don't think we ever took a picture of our log. I got I got a few pictures of the log. Oh, good, because I, I got like, a few pictures from the end of the log, and I guess I was sitting on the log. Okay, out good. of the water. Yeah, we had a log that became our like main spot when we were swimming. It was like our dock, and it was yeah. it was a log that I probably could get my arms around. So it was like this big, mm -hmm. right? So it yeah. was it was a bit of a it was a big log. But it was amazing. Yeah. It like started on land and went slowly into the water, so you could use it as a pier or a dock, and that was, was really that? nice. Like, would you say thirty feet in? Like as far as we got to that, you got further to the end than I ever did. I I I went up like up to my stomach. I'd say thirty. I mean, you got thirty forty feet is probably about right. Yeah. Maybe fifty. It was, yeah. So, so and there were like knobs on it where you could hold on, or like one day I just. I sat in a spot where I could clip my foot underneath and hold, it was underwater, but I just, you know, just like, you know, hooked my foot around it so I could just sit there and, and move around and whatever and not tip over. So. And I would like jump off of it like it was a pier, right? Like I would yep. go and jump and I would dive and it was amazing. The water was crystal clear and mm -hmm. it, it allowed us, what I liked is it allowed us to go and jump in where it was like 10 feet deep. Which was nice because it was a mountain lake, so it's not like it was a sandy beach, right? It was like pure mud. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we walked in the we walked in the first time, and after that, I only walked off in the mm -hmm. log. <laughs> like that, like but yeah, the, I mean, the last day they're like, "We're gonna walk back in." I'm like, "Nope, I am yeah. not walking back in." Mm -hmm. so, that's not a pleasurable experience for me walking through mud. <laughs> so yeah. Did that's that too much when we were young playing disc golf. Right, all the time. Like, it wasn't bad, but I was like, if I have a choice, mm -hmm. it's not going to be the choice. So, yeah. yeah, I think, you know, it was beautiful. And then the friends was good, and the food was amazing. And one of the things I didn't realize, um, our buddy Jesse planned everything. And mm -hmm. so we went out with our buddy Jesse, and when we got, when I got there, the truck was packed everything was set to go he had an itinerary he had a meals list and everything was set 
So, like, yeah. I didn't have to do anything. Like, he had a tent for me. He had, like, an air mattress stuff for me. Like, everything was set. So that was wonderful. And, like, I kind of felt bad. And so, like, I wouldn't let him pay for anything, right? And when mm-hmm. we got home, he was like, hey, it was super awesome that you guys, like, paid for everything. I'm like, you did everything. You yeah. like, planned it and did all that. He's like, I love doing that. He goes, that's he goes, that's almost more fun to me than the trip. And I'm like, mm-hmm. well, that's amazing because I hate doing that. I go, if, if, if our roles were reversed, I wouldn't have planned anything. I would have been like, hey, mm-hmm. you guys want to head out? Yeah. Like maybe. Yeah. Oh, we can do this. We can do that. And I mean, when you, it, uh, what's a, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of a way to word this. Not that we are along for the ride, but if we were all going in and we we knew we were all going camping, I mean, we might not have done a hike this day. We might not have done a hike that day. We might have like talked about it a little bit. Like, oh, do we do this today? Do we do it right. tomorrow? You know, like some other things happened where we just kind of were undecided. So having that set, like, okay, when we get there, we're gonna we're gonna look at waterfalls on the way, and we're gonna have these stops. We're gonna try to be at this one by this time because that was you know yes. kind of a set. You know, it got pushed back a little bit, so we skipped lunch. You know, he wanted he wanted to take us to a great spot for lunch. We skipped that, but and we ended up getting we ended up getting two amazing spots. They were secluded a little bit more, but still close enough where we could just wander down to the water, which was super awesome. And then, yeah, it was it was awesome. Yeah, we didn't have like people walking through the camp, you know, the the sites and things like that. And I do have you know, one regret, and I was just talking about this. I I meant to bring my hammock, and I forgot to bring my hammock. And yeah. by that last night, I was like, I really wish I'd had my hammock. Because <laughs> I have, like, the hammocks with mosquito netting on them and stuff. Mm-hmm. And my body did not enjoy sleeping on the hard ground. <laughs> I brought my hammock. I thought that I had enough, like, paracord, and I did not. So that's one thing that I'm going to – I have extra here I'm going to add to my hammock. So I'm not in that situation again. But I would have loved to sleep in my hammock too. Yeah, I think that was the one mistake I made. And I was like, well, mm-hmm. that's an easy like remedy, but I wish I had uh, mm-hmm. done that. Um, the other thing was yeah. is it made me want to start doing this with my little guy. Like he loves watching shows about camping and winter camping. I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? I'm missing an opportunity here because him and I – we're hanging out all the time just us i'm like any time i can be like hey let's go camping and yeah we can go i'm like yeah i'm wasting an opportunity so yeah i mean i'm watching i'm watching the weather for this weekend and i'm i'm shooting for either friday or saturday those are evenings i don't do anything Mm -hmm. to where we we have the tent set up and you know who knows if morgan will stay out there or not but ali and i'll stay out there we'll have some fun we'll read and you know, just like just camping in the backyard and then move on from there. But that's it's a yeah. great start. Well, I think like I meant to right after we got back Fourth of July to set the tent up and get it aired out and dried. Mm-hmm. And I didn't do it because it was raining that next week. And then I went traveling. Mm-hmm. So now I'm like super worried. Yeah. But I'm like, oh, I got to get it out anyway. Maybe that's what we do. Mm-hmm. And I have times yeah. during the week that I can do it. So I'm like, eh, yeah, let's get that sucker out and test it and see how she goes. But yeah have that kind of fun with him mm-hmm. right no you're right especially if it's something he's interested in that's super awesome yeah, well and make those memories right make those core memories now so mm-hmm. you know i think that's important and get him away from the electronics right i was talking to my wife today i'm like like how amazing it would be to get him into a spot where there is no electronics like that would be nice mm-hmm like, like, yep just we had a couple it. of those talks well you and i had a couple of those talks and i was yes. talking to gina like and we had a trip today, and I was like, we are not going far enough to take those. Like, leave your iPads here. We're going to listen to music. Like, you get, each person gets to pick something they listen to, and we'll have fun, and we'll talk as a family, and just do whatever. And we did. It was great. Yeah, so it helps your brain so much. And I did that to Cal today. I was like, when I got up, he was already watching shows. I was mm-hmm. like, what are you doing? He's like, I read a book. I'm like, you're supposed to read more than a book, but whatever. I'll sit with you for a little mm-hmm. bit so we can, like, wake up. But then I was like, okay, it's time to turn this off. And he was not happy. And I was like, okay, that's, Mm -hmm. we're just not having this at all. Like, we're just away from this. (laughs) I'm like, let's take a chill. 
So, though when I just mm-hmm. got home from practice and stuff, I see the girls were watching a show with him. So I was like, gosh darn it. But, yeah. But, you know, a little bit watching TV here and there isn't bad. Yes. So, but you got to limit it. So, mm-hmm. that's the hard part. Yep. Hard part there. Mm-hmm. For us, it's Roblox. It's not just TV. Oh, yeah, yeah. He likes to play the Switch a lot, but, like, today he wasn't really into it. But instead, when he couldn't do that, he was like, okay, let's go build Legos. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. let's go build Legos. That's and awesome. Like, when mm-hmm. we're up at the farm store, he's like, when we get home, can we play cards? Yes! Like, that's what I want. Mm-hmm. I want you to want to do other things that are going to test your capacity. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Rather than just watching videos or what or playing on the switch or on your computer Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. get out there and And i am i am super excited too so since this trip i mean i've only been home not even two full days yeah not even yeah i have not not listened to myself So, so so you've listened to yourself yes i've listened to myself so small example but it was still amazing so today we go we go drop off morgan at his dad's this morning and i was just i was just having the feeling like you know what there's two goodwills down there we had like a two-hour time frame where it wasn't worth driving home and then going to where we had to go Mm -hmm. so i was like let's go to this goodwill should we go to this other one too you know it's kind of out of the way and gina's like no just go to that one because we're getting ready to go on our trip Mm -hmm. and and it's going to be a great snorkeling area so we're looking for like some of that stuff we have i have a vest morgan has a vest oliver doesn't have a vest jim doesn't have a vest and then just we have some random snorkel stuff for the kids and stuff and we go there what do we find i find a vest that fits oliver perfectly fins that are a little bit too big for him but it has like the built-in shoe with them it was mm-hmm. like the built-in shoe the fin nice goggles nice snorkel for five bucks and then oh. the the vest the vest was three dollars so i was just like yep i knew this was here <laughs> like i just threw it in the cart like okay this is this is great i'm glad like you know and and there was just like like there were like three other times just little little dumb things where i was just like you know i'm just gonna do this and i did and yeah i'm happy with myself listening to yourself is important <laughs> We talk about that. We've talk talked about it, it before. Especially but. when you're when you've like are in touch with the way things are. Like when you're in mm-hmm. touch with the way things are, like I think listening to yourself, listening to your gut is important. Speaking of that, I told Amy that we played Uno Flip and mm-hmm. she was like, You guys seriously played Uno? I'm like, Uno Flip. Mm-hmm. She's like, Really? I'm it's like, different. Yeah. I go, it was great. It was fun. But I told her I was showing off to Miles. I'm like, I didn't realize yeah. Miles didn't have any idea about stuff like that. And so I told so I'm like, I started by just like saying what cards were coming. I go, but then like there was a time where he was like gonna win or something. And I'm like, it's hard to do that when the next card I take is gonna be a plus five. Boop. And he's like <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there's for you, Miles. That's for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It was so it was hilarious. It was so good because you got to listen to the universe and what it's saying, mm-hmm. right? Like mm-hmm. it's not that complicated, I don't think. Like, yeah, no. Just like pay attention, pay attention. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mm-hmm. think that trip was monumental. Um, one of the things that was nice about having our friend Jesse Packing is he planned all the food, and the food was amazing. Like he made mm-hmm. us like great meals and honestly like our buddy's gotten a bit of a belly and i'm starting to get a bit of a belly that's worrying me his is way way bigger but after he made (laughs) that food i was like i see why like if i could make good food like this all the time Mm -hmm. and don't listeners don't be like oh you could don't don't tempt me don't tempt me Mm -hmm. like i was like man i'd be chowing down too this was good yeah (laughs) <laughs> it was it was super awesome. Yes, it was and scary. I want to. So the one recipe it said it was a stroganoff, but it ended up being a little bit more like a goulash. But I want to try it at home. I'm like, is, can I make this as good? Did or you is it one it? of those? No, I just remember it was pretty basic. Oh, I want it because I think not only will it be good, I think not making it in a cast iron, it's going to be super good. Yeah, I think you throw that sucker in a crock pot. 
or an Instapot, it's going to mm -hmm. be fantastic and it's going to be a nice goulash. Except, I think you drop in a few peppers. Yep. Yeah, that would be good. Well, he had... Well, what was in there? So it was the ground beef, and then it was like some onions and stuff we mixed in there. I thought it was some onions and peppers that we had put in there beforehand, but not any of the hot peppers. I think some of the hot peppers would have made it awesome. Yeah. And then he had mixed up the, it was like a tomato tomato sauce, and then the sour cream, which I guess would make it more like more like the stroganoff, because yeah. that has a sour cream in it. Um, some Some mushrooms were in there. And then, um, uh, like a little thing of, a little thing of, I think it was chicken or beef broth. And noodles. No, it was a beef broth. And then, and then no yolks. Mm -hmm. So two pounds of meat and a full thing of no yolks. And we ate it all. <laughs> the four of us. <laughs> That's a half pound of beef each. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That was pretty amazing. That's why we're, we're getting bigger. Cause we uh -huh. probably could have been just good with a quarter pound of meat. <laughs> Nope. Mm -hmm. nope. Nope. He went big. He and went he, big. And he probably went not with like low fat sour cream, but probably like high fat mm -hmm. sour cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the extra, extra. Extra, extra. Yeah. No, it was. But like, yeah, everything, everything he planned, it was, it was super good. It was, it was very thoughtful and. Yes. Yeah. Very intentional. I was like, oh my gosh, you're like freaking amazing. Bags of snacks for us for when we're hiking. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. not like he bought a bag, like he made bags of snacks. I was like. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, you're like so nice. You're so good. Yeah. He's like, I made this jerky for us. And he split it in a little bag. That jerky was super good. So good. I wanted to make it. I'm like, how do I make that? He's like, it's really not that hard. I'm like, I don't know. It seems like it's hard. Like, that was amazing. But I'm going to try. <laughs> the hard, you know, good, good luck. I mean, the, the hard part is going to be the hardest. I mean, it's, it just depends what's around you. I don't have a Filipino or an Asian grocery store by me. So finding the Filipino soy sauce which is the important ingredient. Well, and I have access to lots of soy sauces, but mm -hmm. for our loyal Trust listeners, me. let me tell you something. I found a place. We're not going to mention any names. Mm -hmm. but they're kind of a big deal. And I found out that the soy sauce they use and everybody raves about their soy sauce. They like love their soy sauce. Is I think it's watered down. Is it cucumin? Mm -hmm. Watered down so. cucumin with sugar added. Really? That's awesome. <laughs> Everybody like always is like that is like the best soy sauce ever. And I remember once going, where do you guys get this from? Like, is this like brought in from Korea or Japan or whatever? They're like, no, we like water down the cucumin and we add sugar because you guys mm -hmm. like things sweet <laughs> yeah i was like that we do yeah, that is for do. sure <laughs> we do so that is i awesome. think that's what it was but either way i'm like okay so yeah so definitely want to get some more traveling in more camping in trying to get a little bit more in touch with nature being off grid i think was good i don't think i will go three or four days again off grid yeah like unless i planned it like Unless mm -hmm. I was planning it, that would be different. But not letting anybody know made me worried because I'm like, okay, what okay. if something happened? My, I had a daughter camping at the same time. And I was like, mm -hmm. what if something happened? And she's like trying to call her dad over and over and doesn't know that I'm out of touch. Yeah. Right. Or if my sister was calling me, I'm like, I don't like that. Like, if they know I'm out of touch, then I don't feel bad because yeah. then when I get back, they can do it. So I think... That was the hard part for me was that people didn't know. Right? Yeah. So. Though my wife said, she's like, I wasn't going to panic until Sunday at noon. She goes, I figured you're good until about then. And if I hadn't heard yep. from you by then, then I was like, <laughs> I'm going to be worried. So. No, I, I like, honestly, I think that you would have, if something bad would have happened, you would hear sooner. Right. She would hear sooner from me. She would hear, like, if something bad happened, then something bad would happen, and outside would come into the inside and, like, collect you or whatever. Like, if you broke your leg or something, you'd go to a hospital. Maybe. If you fell down a cliff, like, someone would say, hey, our friend fell down a cliff, we can't find him. Maybe. Like, like you guys you guys <laughs> were going to leave us there. You were heading back at four. 
Then you would have probably waited I was in the car until like five or so, right? And then you would have called to go get help, right? Which the meant you'd day. have to drive to go get help. <laughs> so now they're not getting onto the mountain yeah. until seven or eight. And they're going to have to hike to us, which now it's dark. Like... But they hear about it Sunday because we did that on Friday. Or they hear about it on Saturday hopefully, instead of Sunday. Hopefully by Saturday. <laughs> right? Yeah, that was it. And the other thing I told her, like, about, like, I went, like, day by day. Everything that yeah. happened. And I told her about, like, hiking up the mountain and stuff. I'm like, yeah, and we went up there and these rocks are, like, falling. And there's boulders, like, going by me. And I'm like, this is the stupid stuff. And she's like... Tell Miles that's exactly what I was worried about happening. <laughs> like, that was the stupid stuff. And I'm like, yeah. I go, there was a point where Miles and I were about a third of the way up a scree face. So, like, if you can imagine a super high slope where your hands and feet are both touching at the same time and it's all loose gravel with boulders, that's kind of what Miles and I were climbing. And we're about a third of the way up it, and we had to stop, and we were too far to go back and too stubborn to not go forward. And yeah. I'm like, hey, like, we just made the worst decision putting the two of us together. Like, <laughs> the voices of reason went a different way, and that was, that was not good. We sent the mm -hmm. two barbarians off alone. Like, well, it was funny because the very first waterfall we stopped at, you jumped, you jumped down and you were going to climb up that hill and you yeah. wanted to go see the other part. And he goes, is this the dumb stuff that Amy is talking about? I was like, yep. <laughs> 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 the very first spot. <laughs> yep, the very probably first 10 mm -hmm. minutes we're at anything. Yep. Mm -hmm. I do not have that. Uh... I have a different fear response than other people do i don't worry as much right yeah like, you know i see something that looks cool i go explore the thing that looks cool mm -hmm. i don't think about whether it would be bad or scary right like I'm yeah like the absent-minded professor Ooh, pretty mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's yeah. go see it let's go see that whereas other people are like is that safe like mm -hmm. oh. Like a goat can get there, I can probably get there. Mm -hmm, easily. Right? I'll try anyway. So. And I did actually feel better about myself after the trip because I was feeling going into the trip in general that I'm just super out of shape and like, mm -hmm. like, and I didn't think our trip was going to be rigorous. Um, but then that day when we did the mountain was like 20 miles. And so it was pretty rigorous. Yeah. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty insane. But, like, I was good the next day. Like, I was mm -hmm. like, I'm feeling really good. And, you know, like, even Miles was like, I am hurting so much. I, like, can't even walk. And I'm like, really? Because I could hit a few more good trails. And then I'm like, maybe I'm not in as bad of shape as I thought I was. Yeah. Maybe I'm just a little chubby around the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, because I was feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, you went a bit further than I did. I, my legs were a bit sore. Yeah, well, and you were probably still pretty fresh. Jesse was toast. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. He was toast. Miles was toast. So. And I yeah. I was, don't get me wrong, people, like, Kilted almost had to carry me back. Like, I was like, I'm, like, dead. I'm, like, dead, dead, mm -hmm. dead. But by the next day, I was, like, ready to go. Like, I was mm -hmm. feeling good. So, in fact, yeah. we did another little hike, and you and I mm -hmm. would have done another two or three hikes. So yes, yes, The, the other I agree. two were like, nope. Mm -hmm. Well, the one, it wasn't, like, especially going into that day, like, because of the other two were a little bit more tired, it wasn't going to be worth the 45-minute drive no, each way just to do it. No, to see something we've already seen from a different angle. Yes, not even a little bit, not even a little mm -hmm. bit. But I think next time I'm going to ask our buddy to take me to Mount St. Helens. I think that'd be fun to hike. And yeah. maybe even go to the summit. So Nice. And I invited him. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do for you. And he's like, you could just come back here. And I'm like, no, what I'm saying is I feel like I need to reciprocate hosting. But I don't think there's anything that'll compare here with that trip. 
Yeah. Especially like something that he hasn't done. Right. That's I mean, we've been around it. a lot of Michigan. Yeah. Right. He's done all of that. So I'm like, that's like mm-hmm. hard. So, but I told him, I'm like, I'll come into the Philippines. Right. Yeah. Like, when you buy your house out there, I go, I'm visiting. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, anyway, people, do we have anything else to add about the trip, or is this a good spot to kind of wrap it up? I think it's a great spot. I mean, I'm sure it's going to come up, some other things, and but it was, uh, yeah, for being, and, and we had talked about it real quick, and, and we had talked about Jesse Itzler having, I think, I want to say it's Satori, yes. isn't it? Like, yeah. like, a, like a yearly, like, big thing, and this is for sure, this was for sure that for me, like. Going in, I was wondering, and when we were there, I was like, yes. Well, and then you saying that made me think, like, when I thought about it, like, over and over, right? Because you're out in the middle of nowhere processing Mm -hmm. and reflecting. I was like, I could do this. Like, whenever he said that before, like, when Jesse Hitzler's talking, he's like, you know, this is your ultra. This is your defining moment. Or do this. Mm -hmm. This is your defining moment. And I'm like, no, no, no. This could be. You're right. Like, Amy and I, for years, have been saying we're going to go to Ireland for our 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, that's our thing. That's our yearly defining moment. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this was probably this year. So, you know me, I have pretty exciting years, so there could be lots of things this year. But, Mm -hmm. also, I realize this, and I need to start thinking this way or somehow changing my frame of reference. I realize that my years are not normal people's years. Mm -hmm. Because I always go by school years. Okay. Right? So, like, this is starting, like, a school year. So, this is the first thing I've done. (laughs) (laughs) So, like, what's going to top this as the year goes through? Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy year, I think. Yeah. So, Mm -hmm. but I laugh because I'm like... That's why I've probably had so much trouble with like making New Year's resolutions and doing all that. Cause I'm like, that's not the start of my year. And I don't think I ever fully realized that until like now. Like, yeah, that's not, that's really, awesome. That's not I never really thought about year. it like that for you. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. This is the start of my year. Mm-hmm. So that's cool too. But yeah, there, we're going to be revisiting a lot of this listeners because so much mm-hmm. happened. So much happened, which is why. The trip was so moving, so many good conversations, Mm -hmm. so many interesting thoughts and stuff. So it it was fantastic. Highly recommend. Like if you get a chance to go to a mountain and be remote for a couple days, Mm -hmm. I think it's important for you. I think it's important for you to get that connection. Yep. Not... Not all the time. Like, there are people there who you can tell. That's what they do all the time. And I think that's great for them. <laughs> but I also think you're losing your connection to everything else. Mm-hmm. So I think, like, you kind of want to be... It depends what you want to be connected to the most, right? Like, yeah. I want to be connected to the world. Mm-hmm. I want to use that to help me be connected outside of the mm-hmm. world. So Yeah. Oh, however that makes sense. Um, people, before we go, and we'll see if Kilton has other things. So I have this picture, but I think I have... Let me go back. I have a whole drive here, as you can see on your screen right now. And so we we had some like pretty cool spots. Like uh, when we started, we went to Voodoo Donuts. Great donut place in Portland. I think it's famous. So, amazing. You know, you can see here the cock and balls. That, or the old Dirty Bastard. I got one of those. Right there's the old dirty bastard. It was pretty yummy, right? But you can see right there, there's a cock and balls. That thing, um, you couldn't eat mm-hmm. the whole thing. Jared could only eat the <laughs> cock. He could not eat the balls. So, well, yeah. I did eat a donut before that, though. That I had true. a donut pre. I had a pre donut and then tried to eat cock and balls. And then yes, yes, did not work. That was not going to happen. Um, let me see if I can. Scroll through here, people, so you can kind of see. Jer, sorry, Kilta just put some pictures in. You can see we have lots of videos, so you can, like, see where I was at, right? And uh, mm-hmm. here's, like, one of the sunrises by Mount Adams, like, as we were kind of, like, taking off, leaving. You can see that crap is just, like, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff, right? We went to Cannon yeah. Beach where the Goonies was filmed. 
This is Cannon Beach on the Pacific Ocean, right? I don't know if you can see that. So this is where like they shot the Goonies. You know, I went swimming. It was fifty-five. Yeah, degrees. that's a great spot too. Kilted would not go swimming with me in the fifty-five degrees. Kind of missed out. Well, I to to defend myself, I was climbing on a plane shortly thereafter. He so. was gonna be on a plane shortly thereafter. Let me see. Let me see if one of these videos will come up, people. So maybe you can see this it's shot with a phone. Now, I haven't done any adjustments. First time I've clicked the actual link, so you can kind of see this. Oh my gosh, it's going like slow motion, and my voice is like slow motion kilted. It's hilarious. Oh, because it's taking a, ch a chance to load. It must be. So listeners are probably hearing like me give like a play by play of what I'm like filming. <laughs> <laughs> like in low speech. Oh my you God. sound normal to me, but that doesn't mean anything. No, 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 no. Not me. Like the video has it. Oh, okay. Right? Like, so the video, like I'm giving a play by play in the video, and it's like. Mm -hmm. uh, face. <laughs> oh, this one sounds normal. That's where you fucking came up. Oh. And it was just pretty much just me swearing so that's not a great video <laughs> here's this one listeners let's see i don't remember what any of these are i haven't had a chance to label them or anything so you're kind of seeing them the first time i am oh yeah this is pretty good so that is mount rainier that you just saw there this is one of the snow fields you know we're talking about this is mount adams where we were viewing in our camping that's Mount St. Helens with a big cloud over it. Okay. So you can kind of see what's going down. Not the greatest, of, greatest videography because uh, it was like super bright, so I like couldn't, um, I couldn't see anything, right? So yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm excited to take a look at some of those too. I started to look through a few of them. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited to like show my fam at least. So hopefully they think it's cool. I'm hoping to wait until everybody else uploads theirs so I can have like a whole setup of them. So, all right. Yeah, listeners. exactly. It's probably a good time to close the episode. We want to thank you so much for mm -hmm. joining us. Um, we'll hopefully get pictures and stuff out to you. Maybe we'll post a few of them so you all can see it. But it was a fantastic trip, a fantastic journey. We wish you all... Mm -hmm the same experience it was fantastic and this is mm -hmm. almost signing off kilter dragon jerry love you all